One of the buildings at the CU Medical Facility in Aurora has a sign out front, the Marcus Institute for Brain Health. It's easy to miss, but what they do there really stands out. They change lives, lives like Spencer Milo's. While I was in Afghanistan, there was a child suicide bomber that detonated himself in pretty close proximity to myself and my platoon while we were dismounted. And that's where I got my second traumatic brain injury. Like many of those who go through the program at CU now, Spencer went through his treatment at Walter Reed Medical Center near Washington. It was such a wonderful program, it was brought to Colorado, and it's needed now more than ever. It's not a surprise to me that we're seeing the tragic rise in homelessness, in abuse, substance abuse, and sadly suicides within our veterans community. We have to get after that. We just have to get after it. Retired four-star General Robin Rand is the CEO of a foundation that helps support the Marcus Brain Injury Center, which is named for Bernie Marcus. He owns Home Depot and donated millions to start it up. And he's not the only big name involved. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Actor Gary Sinise famously played Lieutenant Dan in the classic movie Forrest Gump. Get on the wheel and take a left! In the movie, he lost his legs in Vietnam. That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! A decade ago, Sinise started a foundation to help America's wounded heroes. General Ran is the CEO of the Gary Sinise Foundation. And our mission is simply to help and support uh, defenders, those on active duty, guard reserve, veterans, first responders, and their families. The PT room at the Marcus Center looks a lot like other physical therapy rooms with equipment for exercising and stretching. But it's more than that. This equipment provides therapy for eyes, ears, and balance. This is very specific to the vestibular system, very specific to the balance, very specific to your ocular functions. The three-week uh, intensive course at the Marcus Center helps heal invisible wounds. The vets and first responders here don't have to pay. They just have to show up and accept that other people can help them. Being able to see them brighten up, you know, being able to see their shoulders up high and they're proud of themselves again because they know that they are going to be able to move forward in their life. They know that tomorrow is going to be better than yesterday was. And that's how what happens in this building changes lives. The goal of the Gary Sinise Foundation is to fund 20 brain injury centers across the nation within the next three years. That could help at least 10,000 vets and first responders. If you have an idea for a story that is positively Colorado, send me an email. I'm at gary.shapiro at 9news.com.